This is the old regulator. There's no way that this was gonna work. As you can see, it's all tangled up and crushed and we thought the window, well, we just thought. You can buy this piece separately without the actual motor. But it's just a $20 difference and I didn't wanna risk buying this by itself and the motor actually still be bad, so just get the whole part to be safe. Before you get deep into this project, it probably might be best to check your fuse. So check your owner's manual and check what fuse actually operates the window regulator. For this one, it would be the F1. So I checked it. As you can see right here, F1 is right here at the top. It's actually located in the trunk and the fuse is actually fine, but it's a good step to check before stepping into this project. Um, yeah. All right, these are some of the tools you will need to remove the driver rear door panel. I have a 10 millimeter ratchet. flat head another flat head Phillips head and I also I mean I have a whole kit right here it will nice to have a it'll be nice to have a kit handy but another screw that you have to get is it's one of these right here to get off so I had one of these handy and the T20 worked just fine. Obviously, I already had it off. This is my first time doing this. I wanted to do it first, make sure I did it right. I'm just gonna walk you through some steps to actually get to this, get to this portion right here. So first, uh, the door it panel itself is pretty much, this is how it looks behind it. But coming over here, a little bit of screw right here, screw right here, that's one, two. You're gonna have to remove this little small panel right here behind the door, door handle to get to this screw. And then right here, you have to remove that to get to that. That's the whole door panel already taken off. Those are the screws that you will need to replace it, to remove it. Sorry about that. <laughs> then also, the actual speaker itself, so you can have more, be able to maneuver more in here. There will be three screws. One, two, three. That's the speaker right there. That's the Phillips head. One, two, three. Got those removed. And this right, this part, this uh, plastic piece right here, it already comes, it comes like this. It's pretty self-explanatory. When you peel it off, or where to put it back at. It's pretty sticky, but you can just move it out your way. Pretty much. This portion right here, it was plugged into this. It's a little piece right here. You just pull it down and it pulls right out. No problem. Okay, this part right here, guys, this part you gotta be careful on. This is with the actual, the door knob itself that you use. So you be careful because the clip, that clip right there can break easily. But 
trying to bear with me, guys. I'm trying to hold the phone and hold a door panel and shoes at the same time. But this, that one, it was inside that. So you see, pretty much had to. maneuver this out of there but you got to be careful with this you have to pull it and as you can see all the way on the back it has push tabs all the way around it Just be careful taking these out looks like one of them one of them got stuck right here that's stuck inside the door. I'm gonna have to get that out myself. But that's pretty much how it looks on that side. And there's also another screw right there. So that would be a screw right there you have to remove as well. So it'd be one, two, three, and then a two on the bottom. Four. Just the actual speaker itself that, that was one two three the bottom panel four five that was a bolt right here that's six and then all these are the uh actual clip ends all the way around the, the door Alright, I'm ready to go to work. Got everything out of my way. Got my new regulator. We're gonna try to make it work. Okay, so pretty much just trying to show this the best way I can. As you can see, this is how the regulator is actually gonna be inside the door panel. See the bolts or where they're gonna match up at. Those two are gonna go there. Those are gonna go there. That is gonna go there. All right, so I just put it in. It's not bolted in yet, but it slid in there with no problem. Just got to maneuver around. I got it in. I'll make sure the window gets on track and I'm gonna put these bolts in. And we're gonna go from there. When installing this, make sure this not sure if you can see it. Not make sure it's not behind the window. Make sure this portion is in front of it. So this can just fall right in. Just like that. Boom. Bolt. One, two. Boom. Three. Boom. Four. So we're about halfway done already. <laughs> that was pretty straightforward. All right. Get to the next step. Got the four bolts to actually support the window regulator. Got all, got all those tighten. We're good to go. Let's go move on to the next step. Part right here, it plugs into this little thing right here. And it just snaps right in. Just get a snap in. And 
All right. There we go. I got the regulator in, bolted down good. My next step, I'll make sure I get the window actually in these grooves. These grooves right here on both sides. And this screw right here is still loose, so you can still maneuver it. So when you get the glass and when you get the window in there, that's when you actually screw it down. That'll be my next step. On both sides. And now I'm just gonna actually let the window down manually. Don't just let it fall down, but you can let it down slowly. Oh man, it fell right in. That was, wow. <laughs> that was easy. Huh, that was easier than I thought it was. But guys, see how it fell right in? I had it in the right spot. So now, I'm gonna get my Phillips head and just screw this bolt. plug this up and now you should be able to let the window down to actually maneuver right here that's why I need to get to so let's see what happens all right guys so pretty much at this step you can check to see if the regulator you just got is actually working but I plug I plugged it in right here and just use the regular and see if it works let's see guys Looking good to me. All right, so we know it works. Let the window down right here to a certain spot so you can actually use the screwdriver. There we go. So now. Now we got a screw tight. All right, now we have the regulator in place. We're good to go to just start putting everything back together now. So I'm going to start off with the plastic piece. Then I'm going to go with the speaker. Make sure I plug everything up correctly. And then I'm gonna actually put the door panel on. Oh, here we go. Plastic portion is back on. Guys, it's pretty self explanatory when you take it off. Go with the speaker and plug the speaker back in. I'm going to make sure I put this. through there. That's how we look. Yeah, it goes in there just like that. Notice I just said, don't forget to pull the connector through the door panel, but uh, I definitely forgot that. I left at myself about this one, but uh, definitely remember to pull that through.
check and make sure when you pull the door handle, it unlocks the door. Two small screws at the bottom. A seven millimeter to get these two screws. And they're not that easy to get to. You gotta get all on the ground. <laughs> And found it easier to use in a small extension with it to actually get to it. So, to me, <laughs> these little screws are actually the hardest to get to for this whole job. They're just so small, they're like right here under the car not under the car, but right here at the bottom. And you see how little you have, I gotta get actually get to them but that's the hardest part to this whole thing now let's move over to plugging this up putting the screw right here and down here and then right there and then we should be done properly. 